Hey everyone, Colbert here. Today we're gonna go over the recent announcement on the official forums. It was posted on Discord and then linked to the official forums and it's all about the bazaar that's coming up in the next patch. So in maybe one or two weeks, we don't know yet, but hopefully it's gonna be in July. Uh, they said mid-July, but it seems that it's gonna be by the end of July. We're gonna look at the new accessories a bit. We covered them in a previous video. And then we're going to look at the new champions that are coming up. We're just going to go over and see their skills. We did see their skills actually in a previous video, but we're going to quickly go over it. Also, guys, uh, I want to announce that I'm currently having an ac um, account takeover giveaway on my Discord channel. So there's a link down below in the description for my Discord channel. You go in there, you click it. There's a giveaway channel. Uh, you go in there, you click the button and you enter the giveaway. It ends in five days automatically and a winner will, will be chosen at random also five winners watching this video comment down below subscribe if you haven't already uh, you need to be subscribed uh, and comment down below uh, with your account id the account id can be found when you go in your profile uh, you go to info this is your player id and you comment that down below in the comments if you do not do that you do not subscribe you won't be entered to the uh, gems giveaway for five winners five times 540 i'm gonna do this it's the mid of the month so I'm gonna do five now and five by the end of the month is gonna be in a different video so let's get on with the video <laughs> So guys, this was the announcement today in the official forums all about the bazaar starting from update 2.1. We're going to be able to obtain gold bars both from winning actual wins in the arena and also from every week's reset. There's going to be a reward to everyone similarly to how the classic arena is. Everyone will be able to get um, an amount of gold bars. We don't know yet the number, but we're given an example by diamond, like an example of five per round so each 3v3 fight is three rounds so you got your four um, members of a team then your other four then your other four each is each uh, time you fight it's a round so what diamond said is you're gonna win gold bars for every single one of those fights and he gave an example of five gold bars each and every single time so maybe 15 bars if you have a 100 percent win ratio times 10 so 150 bars per day so it's gonna take you about some days to collect all these so let's quickly look at how the rewards are shown here these are all subject to change of course until the patch is out these are all just you know for us to see the, the numbers might change you might not be a thousand it might be a hundred actually i don't think it's going to be a hundred but still i like the direction that uh, platinum is going like giving out rewards that we didn't have before example uh, our books chickens and shards bruise energy and silver i mean okay we already get them through events but um mo the most important thing about this is uh, all about the skill tomes and i think the number there like a thousand gold bars 150 a day when you've got a 100 percent win ratio that would take you almost uh you know eight or nine days to get a, a rare skill tome if you've got 100% win ratio, you don't need rares. You probably have legendaries. You probably have very good epics. So rare skill tones will be nothing to you. Uh, 1,000 for an ancient shard. That's a bit too much. Again, maybe 10 days to get an ancient shard. It's too much platinum. I mean, we already get them every five days for the weekly quest. Make it very similar. Make it at least 500 uh, or maybe even lower. So let's go over and see the other words. There's also going to be void shards, supposedly. Uh, sacred shards which is also crazy and you know chickens and legendary skill tomes so from what i see here is that players will have the access to all these but the problem is if you see this picture right here it's this is limited to the um tier that you're going to be in the arena so i'm not sure if this is going to be locked to for example server one two three or four for each of these four items for example but um if it's locked for only silver to have access to all these four then it's going to be a problem what i mentioned to diamond uh, in the content creator chat i told him diamond we need this as a one-time unlock thing so if you reach gold then you have it unlocked forever even if you drop from gold um tag team arena then you should be able to have access to the secret shards rank five chickens legendary skill tones and the accessories forever so we i did not get an answer on that but we're going to see in the future uh, what I wanted to stress about here is that the prices here seem like a bit too much and we also stressed that to diamond in the content creator chat 
what we want to see is the sacred shards being available um in the same or even more frequent than they are in uh, you know from the monthly quest currently every month we get one sacred shot it shouldn't be the case for tag team arena when you've got a hundred percent win ratio you won't have a hundred percent win ratio unless you're a top whale and even those uh lose some fights even on offense um so the sacred shot it definitely shouldn't be twenty four thousand unless we gain so many points that uh twenty four thousand is nothing crazy and it's maybe one uh one every two weeks maybe one every week might be stretching it but i don't think it's stretching it really sacred shards once you reach a point where you can compete in the top tiers of arena sacred shards are obtained every week at least from uh the ultra nightmare and nightmare clown boss chests and they are so frequent you you probably won't even care to buy these when you are fighting in tag team arena what i see what i envision when the bazaar comes out and you we are all able to get these uh rewards is that all the whales are gonna go for this for the accessory that's what i think guys everyone is gonna go for the accessory for the top one of course 400 gold bars cost from what i see here from this on, only information that i have here the gold accessory uh will probably be a legendary item i'm guessing so i mean if it's less than a legendary item nobody's gonna buy it and maybe if it's an epic guaranteed epic maybe then someone's gonna buy it but it has so much rng in there that the chances you get a good item let's say you get 150 gold bars on 100 percent win ratio every single day let's say that's the case so you need three days to get one accessory that accessory can be then split to ring uh, amulet and banner then after that it's going to be split to 13 factions then after that you're going to have to get the proper primary and then the proper substats being at least speed for example on the banner so there's going to be so much rng that is going to be crazy of course the whales are just going to refresh like crazy get uh, as many points as they want immediately when this comes out but for the low spender for their free to play for the mid mid tier spenders even for the not whales but dolphin area spenders it's gonna be too much rng and is it gonna be worth it i don't know these prices of course are subject to change i'm just uh giving them out giving out my opinions on the accessory part what i think is this should be split to three categories so ring amulet and banner and i might even go to the point where these should be universal accessories so they shouldn't be locked to factions but we don't know yet until they come out i think they will be actually locked to factions uh from what i understood from a previews oh yeah it is uh so and like always each accessory has its own rank rarity and faction so yeah it's it's gonna be like that but anyway refresh uh this is one of the um one of the accessories that is going to be available so 5 10 15 percent chance this is the first time we're going to have one set piece items so the more you have the better the set's going to be so 5 10 15 percent chance with um to prevent a skill going on cooldown so as i said in my previous video you're going to have a rotos with this kind of set this prox after he uses his a3 and then on his next turn because he's going to probably have a, um, a next turn with his a3 he's going to kill the enemy He's gonna have a3 again so he's gonna kill another enemy so it's immediately 2v4 this is gonna make rotos crazy crazy overpowered more overpowered than he is but the thing is it's gonna be a 5 to 10 to 15 percent chance so it's still rng is not always gonna be the case but when it, it when it is the case you're gonna get so annoyed when you've got that rotos against you and he's just smacking your team around uh with this set I think it's it's very good i think it's gonna be so random in us getting it i think the whales are all gonna have it of course uh because as i said they, they'll be just spamming those refreshes in the tag team arena getting those gold bars and then just spamming accessories they won't care about sacred shards they won't care about legendary tomes they won't care about chickens these three are nothing to them the accessories are something new and that's why i said the accessory the accessories need to be revisited especially the price it's a good way for starter uh, accounts especially free to play accounts to have access to a ring amulet and banner without actually being able to beat the spider i also didn't think about the rarity um the stars of the accessory so if, if this is not six star always oh my god you're gonna have so many so you're gonna have the item being maybe four or five six stars and then maybe faction 
then the proper ring amulet and banner then it's gonna be so so much rng in there i don't even want to think about how how many uh gold bars i'm gonna waste trying to get an accessory here that's gonna fit my damage dealer or my you know defensive champion so the other set piece is just gonna be a chance to uh, remove one random debuff from the wearer each turn so it's a good one it's nothing crazy it's more for defensive champions or your speed booster for example uh, i like it i like both sets actually i like the this direction give us more sets give us more diversity in the game uh it's a good way but don't give it only through arena give it through dungeons as well uh that would be cool so the daily login rewards update okay that's where we get the new champions okay daily login i thought we we're gonna have another ba battle pass but it seems yeah okay the daily login uh it's gonna have three new champions one of them is gonna be legendary two epics the first one is gonna be grush the mongler his spirit defense all green tribes uh, i went over this champion before he's got a very good a2 skill attacks all enemies 60 percent chance of placing a 50 percent decrease attack debuff or a 30 percent decrease critical damage debuff for two turns both are very good in uh, you know crippling out the enemy team when you cripple the enemy team you can actually progress through the dungeons much faster it's a good thing that he's gonna be um accessible to every single one uh of us just through uh logins and then he's a3 attacks all enemies 15 percent continuous heal buff on all allies so 7.5 percent continuous heal buff on all allies for one turn if at least one enemy is hit with a critical hit so i like this skill as well overall he's a very good carry he's got a, a faction crypts aura so he's also going to be great in the ogreen tribes faction crypts if you are having trouble in there he should be definitely worth uh, having in there especially with leech with the decrease attack with continuous heal and he's going to be i think one of the stronger champions to have if you don't have a legendary for all green tribes then we go for tainix hate flower force support demon spawn so attacks two times at random heals all allies by three percent of this champion's hp with each hit on targets under decreased speed debuffs and then he uh she has an a2 that does the decreased speed debuff on the target and also 50 percent chance for this to go on all enemies if you go, if you go crit chance very nice she also has an unbreakable passive decreases the damage on all allies uh, about five percent and she'll she's gonna take that damage is similar to a defensive tree mastery and her aura um her aura just increases all hp in faction creeps by 30 percent then we go over to the legendary and it's gonna be v6 the unbowed void defense dark elves and uh, she's gonna have an a1 attacks one enemy twice each hit has an 80 percent chance of decreasing the target's terminator by 10 percent fills this champion's terminator equal to the amount the target loses not too crazy i mean for the spider uh, but i mean it's gonna be good but nothing crazy a2 attacks all enemies 75 percent chance of placing 30 percent decreased speed debuff for two turns and she's gonna have a good utility if you're gonna use this champion as well but not obviously in the same faction because they're not the same faction and then single combat places a provoke debuff on the target for one turn also places a 50 percent ally protection buff so yeah again we're gonna have another carry champion uh again with the faction creeps aura i think all these three champions are gonna be used for faction creeps it's for us to focus on the faction creeps so we can go further in and complete them if we can complete them by the time they release the new champion um which is gonna be the reward for having three stars on each and every single fight in the faction world then we're gonna be able to get it um by using these champions maybe and also the final uh the final thing that got me i think more excited than everything else is going to be the champion fragment uh this is going to be a reward from many aspects of the game they still haven't decided which but it's going to be definitely a reward from tournaments and events this is going to be cool because it's going to be a way for you to just unlock a champion similarly to how you fuse a champion but here you won't use any of your silver uh your champions um potions nothing gems nothing it's just going to be using fragments that you collect from events i don't know how easy it's going to be i think it's going to be part of the top 10 in each tournament or event but um yeah it's going to make people go for events more and the way that events are right now it's it's like if you don't spend you won't complete them it's very rare that you can complete an event like a champion training we have 30,000 points being free to play no way no way you can complete it um 
and also complete a tournament that's going on at the same time so going into this if you got if we're gonna have more legendaries here it's gonna be great it's gonna be a great way for everyone to collect a legendary champion so uh that was the video guys thanks a lot for watching again we're gonna have a giveaway for gems comment down below subscribe and uh put your id down in the comments for five times 540 gems also account takeover giveaway on my discord channel and yeah i'm also gonna be streaming right after this video on twitch come on uh come come there and i'll show you my t-shirt that i'm wearing right now this t-shirt is the clan boss as you can see guys this was sent to me by Plarium. No, they they not paying me. They sent this to every single one of the content creators. Um, I think I'm just the first one that shows it to you guys. I think Stu also showed it once before. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next one. See ya.